Hello everyone, Al Lauder here, and today I'm doing my guide on radianting bosses. As you can see here, I haven't done all of them on radiant, but I've definitely done a fair number. And there are a few things that are a bit different about doing bosses radiant than doing them normally. And so the first thing is you're going to want to overcharm. And so if you don't know what overcharming is, let's say I have this set of charms on. If I put on a grub song, then my charm notches are full. But if I put on this soul eater here, then you see these extra three purple notches. That means I'm overcharmed and I'll take double damage. Now on Radiant, you have one health anyway, so double da damage doesn't matter. So your best friend is going to be the Soul Eater here, uh, because it's the best charm for overcharming, because out of the ones that take four, you have Hive Blood, Double Heal, and Soul Eater. And Soul Eater is easily the best for Radianting, because Hive Blood literally does nothing, and Deep Focus technically does something, but in reality does nothing. So, for example, if you're going for a spell build, you might want to slap on Shaman Stone, uh, Spell Twister, Quick Slash to get a bit of extra hits, Soul Catcher, and then finally Soul Eater. Now, if you do the order a bit differently, let's say you put it on like this, it won't work and it won't let you allow you to put on Quick Slash or anything. So, just keep that in mind when making your charm build. Um, and so the other thing, other main thing about radianting is that you really need to take things slower. So like with this brooding Moloch here, you like, you could get two hits every time in between his swings, but it's better just to go for one because it's safer. And then, I say this in pretty much all of my Hall Knight guides, but D-Dark is your best friend. See all these bloods? They don't matter because of D-Dark. It is just so overpowered and really even better for Radianting than normal because normally it can save you from damage. Here it can save you from damage, but damage is death here, so it matters more. Um, the other thing is to be patient. Radiating bosses is going to take a long ass time, and you kind of just have to accept that uh, because, like, it, it's not easy. Some of them are pretty easy, uh, but some of them are incredibly hard to radiant. Um, and so, then I have another tip for you if you feel like there is too much of a difficulty gap between Radiant and Ascended, and you can do the Ascended one. One way to practice for Radiant uh, is to go into Ascended and to Overcharm on Ascended. Uh, and so this will allow you to basically practice where you like twice as hard as Ascended, but not as hard as Radiant. But you'll have the same charm, so you'll be, it helps you practice your charm set, the same charm set as well, more than Ascended. So I use that a bit just to try and um, help with things. Also, another thing is you're gonna wanna um, be more spell focused than nail focused in these in general just because normally you have a split use of your soul for healing as well as for spells. Here you get to use 100% on spells, so you should probably take advantage of it. Um, this boss here, Hornet, was one of the ones that took me the longest to Radiant. I don't know why, it's really not that hard. Um, but yeah, it will take a long time. My other piece of advice is like, you're not gonna play the same because like one thing is like in pure vessel for instance like sometimes you can hit him you can be right in front of him and you will hit him 
which will cause him to stagger, but when he staggers, his head falls over a little bit. You can get clipped by that, and it really sucks. Um, so, like, just you have to watch out for things like that in Radiant, which you don't do normally. I'm going to, for the rest of the guides, stop fighting this boss, because I'm embarrassing myself. Um, but yeah, so the build I showed you before is a pretty solid one, uh, with, um, Shaman Stone, Spell Twister, uh, Soul Catcher, Quick Slash, Soul Eater. Although, one other build you can go with is just go for, since it is a little more, you have to be a bit more cautious going with this build because it gives you like a way to kill bosses from really far away. Also, another charm I highly recommend would be um, this one right here, Grubberfly's Elegy. You can make a pretty solid build uh, just doing uh, something like this, Quick Slash, Strength, um, then maybe Nail Master's Glory, and Mark of Pride. Um, and it just gives you kind of ridiculous range. Uh, and so, like, I can show you on the Brooding Moloch. We can kill it without even getting close to it. Uh, and so then, with Elegy, though, you probably are going to want to be more nail-focused, uh, because... Okay, that was sad, but the Grubberfly Elegy doesn't actually gain you any soul from hitting the boss. Um, it just does damage, which is good. Damage is always good, but you won't have as much soul. So you do, like, want to probably, like, if you're going to have less soul, you should put less stuff into, like, caring about your soul. That's kind of obvious, and I shouldn't have really explained that. Uh, yeah, but, so, Elegy is really good, and uh, Nail Range ones are also not bad. Um, some people also, this is in general, just like um, the one whatever it is steady body where you don't move uh, I personally don't love that one but I mean you do you I guess I also I think in radianting it makes it like significantly harder because if you're used to the knockback you're gonna accidentally take some amount of damage um, just like kind of cuz uh, like you walk forward too much, and that's worse than radianting, obviously. So, yeah. Sorry, this guide has been a little rambly. Um, also, uh, generally, the you might want to start off with doing it with the uh, easier bosses, and then the double damage bosses, because like a lot of the difficulty of the double damage boss like for example the enraged crystal guardian guy uh his difficulty isn't actually that much harder than the purple guy it's mostly just that he does double damage right so that doesn't matter in radianting so you can those bosses are like easier relative to the other ones um and like other difficulties they their difficulty increases less when they go up to radiant uh, yeah, but that's it. See ya.